What's up guys, Rune Steel here. What's up, um, Steeler Nation and all my Steeler subscribers that make videos. Renegade412, Inside Wrestling Truth, Backman70, Steel Jackson, Steel Legends, Punk, and Steel Twins, Steel Jedi, you know, shout out to all of you guys. And today, as you can see, I'm rocking my Steelers hat and rocking my uh, Steelers shirt. And I just want to make this video sharing my thoughts on... You know, Sean Sweezen's department. Wow. Um, sharing Sean Sweezen's... Um, Sean Sweezen's departing from the Steelers. And, you know, I just want to make a video of, of my thoughts about it. No, I, I'm going to miss him. And I, I really am going to miss him. And, you know, he's that type of kicker who, like, you know, he, he's just a great kicker. And, you know, he's going to be missed. And, you know... I was a little mad about this because I was expecting him to go come back to us. Actually retire as a Steelers, but, you know, I was expecting him to be at training camp. And, you know, he's a great kicker and I'm going to miss him. And I wish him the best for him. And, you know, he's he's going to be playing for Washington Redskins. And, you know, the Steelers obviously play in week one against the Redskins. And, you know, the Steelers and Sean Sweetens are going to be reunited in Washington, but they're gonna be sadly they're gonna be rivals, so there's gonna they're gonna face each, face each other. So, um, so it, it's just it's just it it just broke my heart that he left, and you know he, I just I just want to share some moments of him. So, you know he helped us win a couple games, game winners. You know I can remember a couple. We had a game winner, I think, yeah, we had a game winner against the Ravens a couple years ago. We we had a game winner with him against the Bills. But the number one game that I feel that is the most deserved is the Eagles game a couple years ago. So, many of you Steelers may not may remember, but it was Steelers-Eagles. Final score was 16-14. to We had Richard Mendenhall back that game, and, you know, we were down by a couple points, and, you know, he... He gave us the game winner, and we ended up beating the Eagles. That was probably the best game that I've seen, witness, and, you know, I'm going to miss Sean Sweezen, and, you know, like I say, I give shout-out to him. You know, all I can say is, like, best of luck in Washington, and, you know, it's sad because, you know, I just hate when, you know, you have players that are gets injured, you know, and this is what I'm talking about. Levon Bell got injured last season, and Steeler fans weren't weren't familiar if he was going to come back next season because usually I know that, you know, if a player gets hurt, most likely he won't be back next season because, you know, that's exactly what um, happened to Richard Mendenhall a couple years ago. He actually was, I think, injured or he, I think he got arrested for drugs. I can't remember, but it was some drama situation that happened to Richard Mendenhall that as a result, he left the Steelers and he went to play for the Cardinals and... Right now, he's banned from the NFL. I think he got arrested or something. I don't know, but... And, like I said, Sean Sweetson got injured earlier this season in the Hall of Fame game against Minnesota, was it? Yeah. And, you know, we've been just going after kickers all over the place, and, you know, it, it's crazy. You know, I, I believe Chris Boswell's our, like, fourth kicker that we picked up. I'm not sure. Um, we picked up Josh Scopey. You know, absolute nightmare with him. You know, reason why we lost that Ravens game with Michael Vick. And, um, you know, people are saying that we should have beat the Patriots in week one just because we had a bad kicker. But, you know, it, it's it's a lot of drama going, you know. And, you know, I do believe that the Steelers can beat the Patriots. I'm not going like, to go full details, but I do believe it. And, you know, we were really close that night. And, you know, Jeff Scopey just wasn't good for us, and I'm just glad that piece of shit went away to a different team, so, I just think that, you know, it's crazy how we found, we started with Sean Sweden. um, I don't believe Sean Sweden's gonna be get, I don't believe Sean Sweden's getting old or anything like that, but, you know, I, I did believe, I, I honestly, to be honest with you, I didn't see that coming, actually, I didn't, know that we might have part time with John Sweezen, you know. I mean, like I kind of had to, I kind of had the suspicion that he was going to go cuz he was injured and you know, Chris Boswell was doing so well and he might actually get the job now. 
Um, but I personally made a video sharing my thoughts on the whole strong season. I personally thought he was going to come back one more year and, you know, go to training camp and, you know, see what he's still made of. Compete a little bit with Chris Boswell and see if neither, either of the two can get the job. But, um, but like I said, with Sean, like I said, bid, best regards to Sean Sweden. Good luck in Washington. And, you know, you know, it just sucks. You know, he was a great kicker for us. Great moments, great moment games that he got the game winner for us. And, you know, Chris Boswell was a good um kicker. And then I can see Chris Boswell with us for a few years. And he's a great, you know, part of the team. Sean Sweden great part of the team and you know it just it's just it, it's just stressful to see a player that you like go away for example like you know I, I've been a Steelers I've been a huge Steelers fan for a while and you know Heath Miller left and that just broke my heart you know I've been watching Heath Miller since like so long and you know I, I and I I guarantee you, like, it breaks all Steeler fans' hearts that Heath Miller left. I was emotional. I'm sure that a lot of Steeler fans out there in Pittsburgh, New York, or wherever you live are emotional when that happened. Um, I was emotional when Jerome Bennis left because I admired him. He was my all-time favorite running back. Um, you know, I'm a little emotional right now, but... <laughs> Uh, Willie Parker was a really good running back, you know. I know a lot of Steeler fans, might, he might have been their um, all-time favorite running back, you know, I, I just cried when Jerome Bennett left, you know, last Super Bowl in his hometown, and, you know, it was just beautiful for him, and, you know, Heinz Ward, of course, I, I kind of got emotional when he left, you know, obviously it was his oldness, he couldn't play, you know, his body, just, it's just cooling down, not, it's just not good for him, he made the right decision. But, you know, it happens. You know, people get old and they, players get old. People are players, whatever. I mean, like, players get old and they eventually will have to retire. Um, there's a lot of examples. Like I said, you know, Heinz Ward retired, Troy Palomalo, especially Troy Palomalo. That guy's a beast, you know, was emotional when he retired. You know, Brett Kessel, you know, all these good players. And it, it's just emotional. You know, Mike Wallace left, but it was an oldness. He, he was on the Dolphins, but, you know, it just really got to me that Mike Wallace left the team. He was a speedster. He was really fast. Um, I thought he was a really good wide receiver. Um, but, you know, we picked up Antonio Brown in 2010, I believe. Yeah, and then look what happened. This is the best wide receiver the Steelers ever had, in my opinion. And, you know... It just sucks to see it like a, a team that you, a player that you admired and a player that's just done so well for the team leave. And, you know, Sean Sweden's one of those guys. And like I said, I listed a lot of, you know, guys earlier. Jerome Bennis, Heinz Ward, Mike Wallace, whatever. Whatever, if like retired or something. You know, James Harrison. I even put James Harrison that crazy. He went to Cincinnati for, I believe, one year. Um, Bengal fans, if you're watching this, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that we traded um, James Harrison to you guys for a couple years. And, you know, I was heartbroken. And, you know, I didn't think that that would happen. And, you know, it just it just broke me. And, you know, I just thought to myself, saying that how can this happen? I, I just hope he comes back. I, I don't know. I just, like, was emotional. And, you know, I could say that James Harrison's really good. He has to come back, and, you know, I, I just thought to myself, we were all looking forward to seeing him retire the Steelers, and then James Harrison decided to come back because he had he had emotional feeling for the Steelers team, and, you know, I, I know that a lot of Steelers friends knew that he could have, you know, retired last season, but he, he just wanted to win a Super Bowl so bad, and he just decided um, to come back this season, which made me happy, but, you know, this is... I, I did some hangouts with Renegade 412, and I know I said this before in a couple of my videos, but, you know, I, I just feel that, you know, we just have to part-time with him this year, you know, he's getting, obviously, I just hate when players get old and they have to go, but, you know, James Harrison's time is almost up, Troy Palomalo, that's probably what happened to him. You know, Tom Brady's getting old, and he's probably going to retire in a couple of years, just in my opinion. You know, and, you know, it's just a mo it just sucks to see, like, someone, like, really, really good at a sport and, 
you know, it just retired, and, you know, it's frustrating. And I just want to say that this after the season, most likely James Harrison will end, retire as a Steeler, and, you know, he's that one guy I think is probably one of the best defensive players that we had. He was leaving the all-time sacks, I believe, but, you know, it, it's just crazy, and... You know, I talked about, like, a lot of stuff saying that, you know, players... This this video is all about Sean Sweden, but I just kind of, like, got off topic a little bit, but I apologize. I just want to explain, like, how, like, you know, it's just so emotional. Like, you you can just imagine, like, these good players leaving oldness or trading to another team. You know, Mike Wallace, like I said, to the Dolphins, and now he's on the Ravens. You know, Richard Mendenhall um, got injured for us, I think, and... He ended up going to Arizona. Sean Sweezen, of course, got injured, and, you know, he got injured going to Washington, and, you know, you know, I, I just can't wait to see him again. Maybe I'll be watching the game and probably see him as a kicker. He, And I guarantee maybe Washington will put him as a starter, you know, no doubt about it, because Sean Sweezen is a really, really good kicker, no doubt about it. You know, I don't think it matters, though. If you get injured, though, it won't affect, like, your skills or anything like that, but, but anyways, I'm ending this video, you know, like I said, you know, Sean Sweden was just an absolute amazing kicker, I just some just amazing memories that I had, um, you know, obviously, Jeff Reed, like, I, for example, was a kicker for us, Jeff Reed was a great kicker, unfortunately, he had to go of oldness, I believe, I, I can't remember, but I'm gonna end this video, um, like I said, I want to just personally give a shout out to, you know, Sean Sweden, you know, thank you. Us Steeler fans and Steeler Nation are going to miss you. Thanks for everything you've done. And, you know, all I can say is best of luck in Washington. Have fun. You know, and it's going to be tough. And, you know, Steeler fans are going to, it, it's going to be frustrating. And, you know, that's it. So shout out to all my Steeler fans out there. You know, the Renegade 412, Steel Legends, Steel, uh, sorry, the Renegade 412, Steel Jackson, Inside Wrestling Troops, Macman 70, Fan Point 01, or whatever his name is, and the rest of my Steeler fans, you know, Steel Twins, Steel Jedi, Punk, um, Just Blaze, everyone that does Steeler videos, shout out to everyone, thanks for the support, shout out to Steeler Nation, and that's the video, I'm out.